Hey, welcome to all of you out there joining us for March. We are so glad you're here with us. We're in a great series this month called Work in Progress. We're talking about how there might be parts of our lives we need to redo, rewrite, and restore. And so as we do, we're talking about forgiveness. Forgiveness is deciding that someone who has wronged you doesn't have to pay. Forgiving others is something all of us can relate to. So let's learn some more about that and get started. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. I know I'm gonna make mistakes in this life I live, but you never leave me. You forgive. I won't always get it right. It's all right. I'm always loved by you In the morning time I'm gonna sing God, you make me smile When you're doing your thing I'm thankful for the way you set me free And all of the ways that you love me I know I'm gonna make mistakes In this life I live But you never leave me your hands to wash your hands there you go See, there you go like that mm -hmm. and then you put soap on your hands which one's soap are these both soap oh. <laughs> okay uh okay i'll just i guess so why would there you go this is this is lotion who put who puts lotion if that's the soap and this is lo who puts lotion next to the soap in the same bottle without labeling? Okay, okay, okay. 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 All right. I can't. I can't get a grip. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hello, 
everyone, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the So and So Show. And aren't you lucky because we've figured out something incredible. Yes, yes, we all need forgiveness, right? Yep. Yes, M mistakes are made and people have to let each other off the hook. Which is why here at the So and So Show, we're introducing the brand new so and, so and so show, show brand, brand forgiveness, forgiveness punch, punch card. card. We're gonna be testing it out over the course of this episode. Yeah. Every time one of us needs forgiveness for something, we get a punch on our card. So for instance, let's say John ate a sandwich I left in the fridge that I was saving for my lunch, which happened. Guilty as charged. All I have to do is get oh. his card, pull out my handy dandy hole punch and <gasps> the weight's gone. Just like that, all is forgiven. Look at that. Yeah, now you may be asking yourself, what happens when you fill up the card? Mm. <laughs> we don't know. No, I mean, we're never gonna fill up these cards, right? It feels really unlikely. There's room for what? Like seven punches yeah, here. Yeah, Seven punches. And if we do fill up these cards, we probably deserve whatever's coming to us, right? Right. <laughs> anyway, we just wanted to make sure you were aware that that was going on today. Uh, Can't wait to test out this idea that I came up with. Whoa, 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 whoa. This wasn't your idea. I know. I just wanted to do something that would require forgiveness uh, so that we could be even. Ah, what a pal. All here right, we go. Here we All go. right, here we go. <laughs> Forgiven. Oh. Forgive him. <laughs> there you go. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to play a little game called Tortilla Slap. All right, here's how we play the game. We're gonna fill our mouths with water, and then we'll play rock, paper, scissors. And when someone loses, the other person gets to slap them with a tortilla. The goal is to get the other person to laugh so hard that they spew water. You sound good? Yep, sounds good to me. Let's. Oh. <laughs> All right. All right, you know I'm what? I'm sorry. Yeah, go yeah. ahead. Go ahead. Go All ahead. Right, that was not go. cool of me. <laughs> okay. Let's start okay. Here All right, go. let's fill her up. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> what? No, I get to punch it. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I caught you off guard the first time, all right? But don't. let's not do that again. Let's play the game right. All right, here we go. I'm going to fill her up. That's too hard. That is too hard. You're gonna, you get a punch. I mean, play nice. Sorry, sorry. Oh no. I look like you're going I slow. I, I think I broke. Mm hmm. That's not fair! You can't distract me like that! <laughs> That's how the game is played! No, no, no! Give me your card. <laughs> Distracting me. It's not called distract. Yeah, it is. Slap. Alright. It's just it playing. What in the world was that? It's the game. Hey, what? Not only did you just defy physics, you are not allowed to swallow your water. Right, hey, no, you, you can't you, block yourself with your hand. That's what, look, you got, don't you dare. Uh, no, 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 I don't deserve a punch yeah, for that. Yeah, you do, yeah, you do. I don't do. deserve a punch look for that. that. You that, were thinking you, about hitting me with two halves of a should, tortilla. Why should I have forgiveness for something like, no, 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 stop. Yeah, I only, no, no, okay, no, fine, you know what, you know what, here we go, look at this, look at this, you're punching me, I'm punching your card. I'm punching your card. Don't forgive me, don't forgive me, don't forgive me, don't forgive me. Guys. No. Guys. It's time for my thing. Oh, uh. Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, hey Kellen, we, we stop, stop interrupting, interrupting me. me. Hey, that's, that's a punch. No. We're doing a forgiveness punch card thing. We're still working out the kinks. Yeah. What are we talking about today, Kellen? Today. 
we're talking about the parable of the unmerciful servant. In Matthew chapter, oh, we're talking about the unmerciful servant. Well, I've got a point to make. Interrupting, no, interrupting. You're interrupting, interrupting my interruption. No, 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 no. You, you interrupted Kelly. I was talking to Kelly. Yes. We never talk all that time. You me know what time time to talk? This is when we talk. John, what were you going to say? It just so happens I've been working on a short film about the unmerciful servant. Oh, yeah? That's exciting. Yeah, the only problem is I really couldn't decide how I wanted to tell it, so I ended up shooting a few different versions. Mind if I screen them for you? Um, sure. Let's go for it. Oh, great. Kellen, uh, give me a second to get set up. Sounds great. So, one day, Peter, a disciple, came to Jesus and asked him a pretty important question. He said, Lord, how many times should I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. Okay. So this first one is my attempt at an Oscar-worthy drama. Ready? Sure. Go for it. Jesus said, the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to collect all the money his servants owed him. Bring him in. And in this world, a debt is owed. Servant, according to my ledger, you owe me 10,000 bags of gold. Your Majesty, I cannot pay. If you cannot pay in gold, then you will pay in life. You, your family, and all you own will be sold to pay back what you owe. Please, Your Highness, show me mercy. Just give me more time. Wait a second. John, that's not how it happens. Oh, I know, but just think of the drama. I will not, good sir. The king did not say no. He said... I, I know. Please, your highness, show me mercy. Just give me time. Very well. I won't merely give you more time. I will forgive you what you owe. Your 10,000 bag of gold debt is wiped clean. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sire. Ah, oh. Much better. The king forgave his servant just like that. So the servant left the king and- Slow down, Kellen. Don't, don't give away the ending to my movie. Right, right. Carry on with your award-winning drama. Actually, maybe uh, drama isn't my thing, but what about uh, thriller? When your debts have been wiped clean. Oh, I can't believe the king forgave my giant debt. What incredible. That doesn't mean you still can't collect. You. <laughs> <laughs> John! John, the servant didn't have a thrilling chase scene through a marketplace. They could have. So the servant had just been forgiven his debt of 10,000 bags of gold by the king. But believe it or not, there was a person who also owed the servant money, 100 silver coins. And while there was not a worldwide foot chase, this happened. John? You owe me a hundred silver coins! Oh, oh friend, I know, I, 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 I'm so sorry. Please, please, just to give me a little bit more time. Could you find it in your heart to show me some mercy? Of course. 
not the servant had the person thrown in jail. When the king found out about it, he, oh, he called the servant into his courtroom. I forgave all that you owed me because you begged me to. Shouldn't you have shown mercy to the other servant the way that I showed mercy to you? I sentence you to pay back everything you owe! Yeah! <laughs> Take him away! <laughs> no, wait! Wait, wait! A hundred million dollars stunt extravaganza! You know, John, I think we've seen all that we need from this. I'll take it from here. Oh, okay, sure. The servant in Jesus' story who was forgiven chose not to forgive, and things didn't turn out so well. It's the same with us. God is willing to forgive us no matter what. God is so faithful, so we should be willing to forgive others. If we don't, it goes bad for us. We hold on to grudges and bad feelings that make us miserable. It's better when you're able to see the kindness that God has shown you and pay that back to people in your everyday life. So when someone has wronged you, ask God to help you forgive. I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kellen. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he brings up a great point. Um... Makes me feel really dumb about how much we cared about our forgiveness punch cards. How's yours looking? Um, Same. Oh, well, consider it wiped clean, buddy. I forgive you. And I forgive you, pal. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Reveal the question. Oh, great. Yeah, today's question is... What keeps you from forgiving? Mm. Mm. Sometimes it's hard for me to forgive when I feel like someone has gotten away with something they shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, it's hard for me to forgive when someone does something to hurt my feelings. I, I can't always put my personal feelings aside and forgive them. Yeah, but just remember, God has forgiven people for everything under the sun. Oh, yeah. And you can find it in your heart to forgive people, too. I mean, God can help you with that. Yeah, just like we forgave each other. Yep. Hey. Do you want to fully play the tortilla game that we were playing earlier? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Okay. Until next time, I'm John. And I'm Brandon. And this was the So and So Show. Oh. <laughs> 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 this idea of valuing others and having mutual respect is seen throughout God's Word and is a necessary way to communicate with others and share God's love for them. We see throughout Scripture that everyone has value because they are created in God's image just as we are. God values us and wants a forever relationship with us. God sent Jesus to make that possible. We follow God's example when we show others they have value too. Let's wrap up by talking to God. God, thank you so much for loving us enough to send us Jesus. Thank you for <clears throat> this message and for your love. Amen. Well, thanks for being with us. See you next time. <laughs>